everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Donella if you just so happen to be stopping by for the very first time thank you so much for being here welcome welcome this is my world of beauty here on YouTube now for this week's video I am going to be reviewing this very highly requested um, review on the newest addition to the Fenty Fenty Beauty family. This is the Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint. It's a tiny product and it has in about and it has in exactly 1.08 fluid ounces. And I bought the shade 20. What I read when this skin tint, this is it Easy or Easy Drop? I think it's Easy. When it was launched, Rihanna explained that she basically compiled the shades of both the soft matte and the hydrating foundation into 25 shades, which means that if you're somebody like me, then you would fall somewhere between um, the color range of 20. To 25. I'm looking at the foundation shades that I purchased for myself, which are the perfect match. Apparently, 21 is my perfect. See match. how well this skin tint holds up. It does have a number of claims, and we are going to run through those claims real quick before we get started with this video. So, if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on this, and by the way, not because it's Rihanna, not because it's Fenty Beauty, if the product doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for me to give the skin tint a uh, chance to settle in my skin and all of that so i do believe i'm going to give it about maybe three to four hours of wear and see how well it holds up with my skin type because i do have oily skin and according to the directions that i saw on fenty beauty's website skin preparation you know your skincare routine and skin priming plays a hell of a role in how the end results turn out so i did i have already done my skin prep so the only thing i need to do is to actually prime i wanted to allow my skincare products to actually do what they need to do before i started filming this video so i'm about an hour i'm wearing i've been wearing my my you know my serums and what's not for about an hour now i think that's enough time so if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on this new fenty beauty ease slash easy drop whichever one i think it's easy drop then please stay tuned <laughs> by the way before i get started according to the claims on fenty beauty you are supposed to be you are supposed to go in with the hydrovisor moisturizer from fenty skin however i don't have that so i'm going to be going in with the next best thing that i own from fenty which is the pro filter true matte mattifying primer it looks like this i'm going to go in with this before i begin actually putting on the skin tint on my face okay so before we get started i am going to just read what the claims are from fenty beauty's website it says here a lightweight buildable light to medium coverage skin tint that leaves the skin looking blurred and smooth in flexible shades for all it also says um this is an easy to apply flexible skin tint um rihanna wanted to create it quickly and visibly evens out your complexion with a blurred effect the Hydra Blend Complex and Humidity, Sweat and Transfer Resistant Formula has a smooth texture that layers well with primer and skin care. So I think that um, skin care and primer plays an important role when you're using this um, Ease Drop or Easy Drop skin tint. So she mentioned that like at the very like in the very last sentence. So I really I truly truly believe here and prepping your skin skin care and primer I should say plays a very important part before you actually apply the product to your skin so keep that in mind if you do plan to try the Fenty Beauty Easy Drop skin tint okay so I just basically wanted to kind of zoom in on my skin a little bit more and this Easy Drop is a very fluidy um, product so I do believe I need to shake this up like give it a really good shake before I apply now I'm not going to be using my regular um, foundation brushes or a sponge or anything like that i am going to be using a blender brush which is very you see a lot of like um celebrity makeup artists using these type of brushes and it's really because when you want a really light application if you're using a product that is very liquidy like this then this actually helps to smooth and even out the product even more when you use a blender brush so i'm going to be using that and what I want to do is use a blender brush on this side and use my fingers on this side like how I saw Rihanna um, demonstrated in her video. So let me start off by doing this side first. I'm just going to start off with a couple of drops and oh, I do believe I need a mirror. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and actually just start blending out the product into my skin.
Wow. Off the bat, right, just looking at this, just from doing this, I could definitely tell you this skin tint has some really good coverage. Considering that it's a skin tint and you expect the coverage to be very, very minimal, I'm, get, I'm actually getting quite a bit of coverage out of this. So I'm going to just um, add just a few more drops of this. Um, right here all right and then I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the rest of it with the blender brush claims and you could actually see how blurred my skin is I mean look at this side I, I haven't even completely blended out the entire thing because I haven't done my jawline or anything like that and I haven't done my forehead but you could actually see in this area where I applied the skin tint it actually looks really blurred compared to over here wow this this product has some really good coverage I have to say that's the first thing I noticed like right off the bat that it has really really good coverage by the way um in, in, in its claim it says that it's um humidity sweat and transfer resistant and I just want to take a moment here to explain that because there are some persons who believe when they see those words that they feel that the makeup it just means that the makeup isn't going to move at when all. a company says that its product is humidity slash sweat resistant it just means that you know in some cases most liquid foundations whenever after a while after you've been wearing them for a couple of hours and you tend to blot your face or maybe you take like a little bit of bounty and you have to you know just blot your face to take away the excess sweat or etc that your skin naturally produces you would just see a whole lot of the foundation on your bounty paper that you use to blot the humidity sweat and transfer resistant just basically means that you're gonna see way less product come off of your skin compared to other regular liquid foundations or every, other regular liquid um, complexion products it just means that's all it means it just means that you're gonna see way less um, product <laughs> removing from your skin it doesn't mean that nothing is going to come off at all after all makeup is not magic you are going to see a little bit of transfer it just means that you're going to see less the type of formula that it is it just means that way less product is going to come off of your face that that's just all it means all right so i'm going to do the other side of my face now using my finger and let's see how that works out okay so i'm going to start off with a couple of drops and just basically start pressing it into my skin and most most makeup artists most pro makeup artists apply skin tint like this some liquid foundations as well and concealers and basically anything any complexion product they normally apply it to their client skin in tapping motions using their fingers because it is a skin tint so you expect it to have a very thin layer so most most um pro makeup artists actually apply their skin tints using their fingers now i'm not really liking this finger motion i do see blending in but i don't i just don't like the whole finger thing but i'm not going to give up i think i'm just going to go ahead and um finish this side of my face using my fingers and if i feel like it's just too much for me to handle i'll probably just go in with the blender brush <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty much done with um, both sides. I'm wondering what else I can actually put on the product. I can actually put on it. I don't want to put too many things over it because I do actually want to see how well the skin tint holds up on its own. I actually want to add a bit of the Fenty concealer to conceal and brighten my under eyes because I feel like that little darkness is driving me a little bit crazy. So let me just take my Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 430 and just add a bit of it underneath my eyes to brighten it up and hide the darkness at the same time right so um this is actually what it looks like now that i've applied my fenty concealer i don't want the concealer to crease so i am going to go in with one of my fenty um setting powder now i am going to go in with the shade honey because i do want to set my under eye and like i said before i don't want to add too many products over this so i'll be using a brush to apply this which is going to just apply a light layer of the honey powder because if i if i use a sponge one of those beauty sponges is going to go in way too heavy because the fenty powder naturally is like one of those um powders that if you're not too careful <coughs> honey you might end up looking kind of cakey it's like really it's a really powerful pro it's a really powerful product so i'm just going to just lightly go in with a brush 
just make sure I tap in and cover the areas where I apply. I only apply the concealer underneath my eyes. That's really because um, I, I don't like to see that darkness underneath my eyes. And I like to see underneath my eyes look really bright. I'm not going to highlight where I normally do, you know, my forehead and my chin. I, I might add a little bit, but for now, I really just, just within this first hour, I just want to see how well this product actually holds up on its own. So maybe later on, uh, maybe like in the second or third hour, I might add just a little bit of powder. I'm not sure, but I do actually want to see how well this holds up on its own. You know, I keep saying that this is actually a uh, wear test. So I don't want to put too many products on it. Like, I don't want to put too many products on it. So let me just um, allow this to sit and do what it needs to do. And I'll check back in like in the next hour. I am I did I did say I was going to check in an hour later but here I am two hours later and I'm actually glad that I gave it two hours because seeing my natural oils blend in with the easy drop skin tint I can see that the most pronounced areas in terms of um, coverage is obviously right underneath my eyes where I applied the Fenty concealer and the powder because those are basically like heavy coverage um, products but in terms of the rest of my face, I can actually say that although I, I might have applied like, let's say about <laughs> eight drops of foundation on each side, eight, eight drops of skin tint on each side, you can see that it's still dried down to a very, very natural finish. And that's that's something that I love personally. I love um, complexion products that dries down to um, a very natural finish. It does blur the skin. I can definitely see that, you know, I have like really, really pronounced um, pores and I can see that it definitely blurred my skin and although I do see a bit of sweat breaking through in the areas where I expect sweat to break through which is like right around here right above in this area right here above my eyebrows and right here just above uh, my cupid's bow those are the areas where I expect sweat to actually break through you know is actually give it two more hours I promise I'll come back in the next two hours this time and then give my final thoughts on this Fenty Beauty easy drop skin tint all right so my four hours are up and i'm back to check in to give my final thoughts on this fenty beauty ease drop or easy drop i should say blurring skin tint and by the way if i didn't mention at the top which i'm sure i did i am the shade number 21. okay so final thoughts final thoughts final thoughts in terms of the actual overall finish i absolutely love it that's because I'm more of a light to medium coverage girl and I definitely love the fact that um, this skin tint as just a small bit of coverage like I have to say for persons who really like those full coverage full coverage makeup you know if you have like maybe you have scarring in your face maybe you have dark areas you know like hyperpigmentation at the scars that you're trying to cover up I would recommend maybe doing some um, spot concealing color correcting before you actually apply the skin tint because it does actually give just like the claim say a very natural finish because I probably added maybe about 10 10 20 drops and even as I was adding it and I was using my finger on this side and I was using the blender brush on this side which I think you can't really tell much of a difference which side I use my finger on and which side I use a brush on everything just dried down perfectly and that's the one thing that actually caught my attention because I feel like some products like some complexion products like say for instance um, foundations Whenever you use like a different um, tool, like say for instance, if you use your fingers, if you use a beauty sponge or if you use a brush, sometimes it depends on um, the, the tool that you use, you get a, a totally, completely different. Um, and I love the fact that even though I use either, <laughs> that I still actually got that, com that natural finish that Fenty said in its claim. So that's definitely something that I look up so that's definitely something that I have to give them two thumbs up for. the second thing I want to talk about is the the humidity and sweat resistant and transfer proof claim that they have who prefers to buy um, complexion products that has those type of claim actually live up to those claims quick test I have a clean sheet of bounty right here and I am just going to press this all the way into my skin. a bit of transfer it's not you can't even actually really see it on camera it's so so minimal I'm, I, I am I'm completely blown away by this because I, I haven't done any touch-up or anything as you guys can see 
all the products that I used um, on camera with the exception of my eye look of course I just added a little bit of small I just added a little bit of nude eyeshadow and popped on some lashes and liquid liner and mascara of course and that was basically it but in terms of the overall complexion products that I use I only use the skin tint you guys saw me added a bit of the Fenty concealer to cover the darkness underneath my eyes and a bit of the honey um, translucent powder that's all I use I didn't do any bronzing I didn't do any highlighting guys I'm obsessed with those type of things <laughs> but I didn't and then of course I added a nude lip gloss because yeah I just I just feel like I need to look a little bit done up you know a little bit done up that's 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 the thing done up done up yeah so i am actually definitely happy with my results would i recommend this product absolutely for persons who are like minimalist and for persons who just want to look a little bit done up when they have to go out to work every day but some of us who are still some of us who still have to actually go out to work um monday to friday and do face-to-face -face working in an office with other persons but just something but not too much i highly recommend this um fenty beauty easy easy drop skin tint it is absolutely perfect one of the things that actually surprised me is the fact that i couldn't really tell at some point that i was actually wearing the skin tint because although i can actually see that i'm wearing concealer and part underneath my eyes that's the most pronounced area on my face right now you can actually see it on camera as well you can actually see that i'm wearing like my under eye area is highlighted the rest of my face i actually had to keep doing this like am i wearing makeup again am i wearing makeup again it's so lightweight and it dries down to such a natural finish you almost forget that you're wearing makeup so that's definitely one of the things that i love about it and i was blown away by the coverage that i actually saw when i first uh, when i first applied it i can't believe this is actually a skin tint and the type of coverage i saw coming from this i'm like mm, mm, mm. and it actually had me a little bit skeptical because i thought it was going to dry down to look more so like a foundation because of the type of because of how much coverage i was seeing but to my surprise it dried down very naturally very naturally thumbs up to fenty beauty two thumbs up to rihanna you did it once again girl why am i coming? thank you guys so much for being here with me once again and another tutorial and another and another um weird test and another product review whatever you want to call it thank you guys so much for being here and i'll talk to you guys real, real soon on my next upload bye bye